project at Rad. Rory's car is back from paint, and we have to assemble it. All right, guys, let's talk about Rory's Supra for a little bit here. Rory's building a really cool drift Supra replica of the pro car. We've covered it on our channel several times, but then there was a lull in the work on it, and we kind of had to put it back here in the shop, wait a little bit for Rory to handle some personal things, and then now we're back on his car. We were like 50% done or 60% done, but then during the time that we like held off on the car, Rory decided to upgrade a couple things and changes so now we like backtracked and are redoing or making better a couple things on the car so I'm gonna share that with you guys also show you some of the parts he's had some really nice stuff and then talk about what it is that we're gonna do and for those of you guys that are new that haven't seen us do any videos on this car or didn't go back further enough let's talk about it real quick it has similar setup to mine but things that we could make better that we knew from me driving my car going, oh, I wish this and this was different. Things like that possibly are different or upgraded. Like he has a Hollinger transmission in here. We have the taped off over the cover and the shifters out, but that's a really cool part. It's down inside there, I guess. You'll see it at a different time. This is not a stroker motor. That's one other thing. It's just a three liter. BVTI stock motor. He's only gonna make 650 horsepower with it. He's running a 8374 Borg Warner. One really cool thing he just did was do this full Inconel heat shielding wrap, this custom stuff. We got all this done and it's back. He even did the downpipe and the dump tubes and that first charge pipe so it'll keep a little cooler right near the alternator on its way to the intercooler. This car has hard lines for the coolant running back. They're kind of hidden inside the car and then we got the rear radiator set up it's all dusty because it's been sitting in here we had a cover on it for a while but gets dusty in a shop super nice fab work done everywhere but we're gonna fully disassemble the whole car and take it to powder coat and everything there's a couple changes we're gonna have to make and a little bit more fab work before we go disassemble the whole car and we still have to finalize brakes on the car there's no brakes he ordered rims these aren't his rims these are like some old ones i have had so we could roll it around he ordered some raised 57 crs in black so when those are showing up they haven't shown up yet but when those show up then we'll have that overall look so you guys can see what it's going to really look like similar to my super i guess okay so upgrades that he changed over the time that we weren't working on it he had us take the rear subframe out and then we build it the little cradle in there to hold the winter's quick change so we upgraded to winter's quick change and then this is just fresh back from powder coat we have to repress the solid bushings in there and then we can throw that up inside there then he has the pro level axle kit with the better outer hubs with 33 spline hub inserts this is just kind of like the biggest setup that they make over there at um, drive shaft shops supposedly good for over 1400 horsepower i don't think you can really break those too easy here's the hub insert that you would press in there so we already pressed the studs into the hubs now we just have to press the hubs into the knuckles and then we have these knuckles with new bearings in it this is the plan to set those up on together all the arms back together on the subframe and then put it back in so we can roll the car around because right now it's just on jack sands no rear subframe lots of stuff is taken apart and there's a lot of stuff sitting here in this car but this is going to be a really 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 nice pro level drift car build the only thing that's holding it back from being as crazy of a build as my own personal car is that the motor caliber is not a built motor it's just every other detail and then some extras that mine doesn't even have the only thing is the motor which maybe later he'll do a built motor and just have a swap that because just the inside of the motor that we'd have to change that's kind of where we're at on that car so we're gonna get to work on it i just wanted to do a quick shout out though a guy that was selling this rear bumper and his name is alexander and then his buddy is redoing alexander's supra 
His buddy's name is Paul. You guys go on YouTube and check out Paul Roseboom. He's the guy that's building that guy's Supra, Alexander's. We did like really good price on this bumper, so I just thought I should shout him out and say thank you guys. It's another Supra project you guys could check out. All right, so time to get to work on this and we'll give you guys some updates when we knock some dust off of some areas. We're doing a Pro EFI 128 ECU in this and then a Motec PDM and Motec display screen. So we're gonna start on that stuff too and then this will have all custom wiring and we'll kind of show you as all that stuff comes together it's already started but we're still in the raw stages so you could see all the components and we'll try and share a lot of details for you guys so you could kind of see why we do stuff and how we do it and then ask all your questions two years later rory chose black and we did 202 black which is the Supra Black from Toyota. And then he did satin black on the cage and some of the metal tubing here in the rear. Looks pretty beautiful. So we have some of Rory's parts here, his drive line there, some wiring, some other parts back there. Time to assemble it. Let's see if we can get to this. One of the coolest cars that we'll ever build, probably. That's the very end of this location. All right, let's get to it. I've been trying to pack the shop, haven't talked much on the camera. Supra he had this project with us for many years and it kind of went stagnant for a while where he was doing some other stuff in life and he got the rest of the money together to finish it and we started going to work on it but then during that time we decided to move but look at it now you guys see the time lapse of what Mark was assembling and whatnot it's pretty similar to my race car but it has different color patterns in some areas like black and black instead of blue and then he's even got ink and L on his dump tubes which we hadn't done that before but it's basically a full race car purpose-built drift car we're still doing final touches on it but probably has like a day or two more of work looks very similar to my race car because he wanted a replica of my race car you guys are going to ask this question like where does he drift or what is he competing he was not a drifter 
he just wanted a replica of the race car and he had a Supra, like a high mile street car and he kept kind of like asking me to build it and I didn't really take him serious and finally he convinced me and here we are. So we can tell you a little bit about it if you guys haven't kind of been, you know, watching the channel for all the years or whatever. Take a look in here, it's got FD spec cage, it's got a Cody Phillips dash, Motec screen, Motec keypad. It's got the new rad handle handbrake. This one even has a Hollinger sequential transmission. It has a winter's quick change. It's like a fully built, ready to go race car. We're gonna take it as far as we can, but then we're also leaving the state here pretty soon. So I don't think we'll make it to the dyno. We'll just get it running and deliver it to him. And then he's gonna have to set up a dyno appointment later without us being there. I guess walk around the car, check it out. It's got really cool stuff going on back here mount radiator but it has some ducting that is different than the way we have on my car super clean nice build and then we've never done one black on black before so i think that gives it like a whole different feel with everything being black like this yeah this is a nice one so i guess the last build that we do here in california is one of the coolest ones i mean he chose no wing so it's going to stay wingless because he didn't want a wing are you guys following me? Here's the Supra. This is it. We have to call it quits on this car. Pretty much done. It just needs to go to the dyno still. So Rory is gonna get a 90, 95. Done car. It looks amazing. Everything is ready to go. It just probably needs two days of work on it, like getting the map in it, going through stuff when it's running at first, and then testing systems. Then it needs to hit the dyno, so another day there. Maybe go back through it after the dyno, and he's ready to go to the track with it. Maybe he wants a track alignment, so that'd be one other thing he needs. But we can't bring it to Florida with us. He didn't want to ship it there, so he said, bring it to my house, and maybe when Mark's ready or a different shop, it's up to Rory. He then will see it through, or if he wants to send it to Florida, we'll see. But. I think Mark will just handle it because Mark's put a lot of time in it and knows it pretty much in and out, so that would be the smart way to go. It looks really nice in black on black on black like this. I kind of showed you guys the inside. You can look again. Ooh. Very nice. Simple, clean, perfect. Really like it. Rad Industries handbrake, anodized black, beautiful. And then if you guys have a Supra, you could get this brake kit from us. We'll try and get this on the website pretty soon. This was the first one. We already sold another one to a guy in Europe, and then eventually I'll get one on my own car. So we make the hat, then we use Willwood brake calipers and rotors. The caliper bracket is, we also had that, you know, machined and stuff. So you could do a single rear bigger if you wanted, or so if you're on a street car, or you could do the dual rear like we see here on this one. Pretty cool. Just been really busy packing all the stuff at the shop and then we're trying to juggle through what this car needs at the same time, but we have to be loading this container that's behind me in the next couple days and we're going to Florida. So this is it for California. We're leaving with the last, probably coolest build that we did here. Next, we'll have to see what happens in Florida, guys. See you later, thanks for watching.